Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome. My name is Devin. I'm an esthetician, content creator, a beauty obsessed person, and a mom. And I like to provide honest, thorough reviews and figure out what's going to make the cut and make it into my routine. And I would love it if you would hit the thumbs up and subscribe if that sounds like something you're interested in. And let's jump into the video. So today I really wanted to take a deeper dive and do some swatches of the Hourglass Unlocked Lipsticks. When I filmed my video of like buy or pass on new launches, I said, you know, pass on the Hourglass Lipsticks because I had, you know, other formulas that I love and the colors were, it was really hard to decide what to pick up from the website. But Shop My, which is my affiliate partner, they actually sent me the shade Tropic and I fell in love with the formula and I immediately bought four more after watching about 100 TikTok and Instagram videos and YouTube videos to figure out which shades would be the best fit. I'll share kind of why I picked what I did so it'll make more sense to you, but I ended up picking up five shades and I'm excited because I've only actually tried on two of the shades so far. I was trying to decide shades. First off, I find this with a lot of Hourglass lip products is that the shade swatches on their website are not accurate and that was definitely confirmed once I started watching people's videos for people who got the Hourglass lipsticks in PR. So I actually screenshotted a couple of different people's um, videos on TikTok and whatnot to just kind of decide between the colors. I knew I wanted to grab Oasis, which is like their lightest neutral pink. Looked like the perfect, you know, sort of everyday shade. I was sent Tropic. And then Wave looked like a really beautiful deep berry. So I was kind of deciding between Flora and Cypress, and then also Dahlia. And so Cypress and Flora are almost identical, and I confirmed this through a lot of my friends who got PR, almost identical. Flora leans a hair more cool tone and Cypress leans a hair more warm tone. So my friends who had, you know, more neutral, warm leaning skin ended up preferring Cypress on them, but I wanted to try Flora. And then Dahlia is definitely more of like a neutral pink. So I think they're going to be quite similar, but Wave looked like a pretty deeper berry. So it looked kind of, you know, different from Tropic as well. Tropic is just like kind of a brighter pink. So I've even seen people compare Dahlia and Tropic. And so... A lot of the shades are really similar, there's just kind of like slight nuances in them and so I find it really hard to select shades for this brand, especially when they don't have, you know, accurate swatches on their website or on Sephora. So that was definitely challenging, but I'm going to kind of try them on and I'm going to share the, the screenshots that I made just so you guys can see the work that I put in to just help me select the shades that I knew I was going to be most happy with. Jumping right into swatches, first up is Oasis, which is described as a neutral pink. I think this is a light neutral pink, and I would say that this is quite accurate. I do think that it pulls a hair warm on me, but I do think the color description is accurate. This is Tropic, which is described as a rose mauve. I think you can see here, and I feel like on camera it's not even as bright as it is in person, but you can see here that this does not match the color description and the swatches online, but it's really beautiful. Next up is Dahlia, which is described as a rosewood. This is a medium neutral pink, a very classic shade that's a perfect pinky nude on a medium skin tone, but packs a little bit more of a punch if you have fair skin. It's going to be one of those universally loved shades that looks great on everyone. So Flora is described as a berry rose, and I think it looks far more warm on camera, but this actually leans cool and has more like purple with a little bit of brown in it. It's really unique and pretty, but it's just not showing up on camera, and I feel the same way about Wave, which is described as a rose plum. This is far more purple with brown than it's showing up on camera as more of like a red burgundy. And I'm going to show another clip in a little bit, but this one is so beautiful in person. All right. So those were the swatches of the five lipsticks that I have. And I'm really happy with my selection considering until this video, I had only tried on two of them, which I loved, but I especially love this one and the one just before this, uh, Flora, which it's a pink, but it 
like has a little bit of like brown and berry in it which makes it really unique to anything else that I own. Dahlia is like a very neutral beautiful pink that I think will suit a lot of people and this one especially surprises me because a lot of berries run really pink on me instead of more cool toned and purple and this actually looks more cool toned and purple on my skin which I'm really, really happy with. Again, I don't have anything else like this in my collection. And so I feel like I did a really good job picking out colors for myself and hopefully this is helpful for you. But at first I was, you know, really unimpressed with the shades and how they're so similar, but I'm really impressed now that I'm trying them on and I feel like the little nuances is what makes them, you know, look especially good on different skin tones. It just takes a little bit more work to figure that out yourself, whereas compared to like the Merit formula, whereas I feel like they found a lot of shades in their range are just universal amongst various skin tones and undertones and so... This just takes a little bit more legwork, but I do think it's worth it. These are beautiful for $38. This is what I would expect from a lipstick, and I'm really impressed and really happy I grabbed four more of these. So let's dive into the claims. An ultra hydrating lipstick that delivers high impact color in a single swipe with a satin cream finish. I tend to prefer more satin cream finishes with lipsticks, especially in the winter. I don't like my lips to, you know, be dry. A lot of the matte lipsticks that have come out recently that are like transfer proof or supposed to be like moussey and comfortable aren't really hydrating and still make my lips feel quite chapped. I think they're great for long wear options but I tend to prefer more matte lipstick in the summer when my lips aren't in, you know, really, really bad shape, which they always are in the winter. But I also liked the idea of having a lipstick that was going to be a little bit more opaque than the Merit lipsticks. I love the Merit lipsticks. I have every shade but one, I think. But those, you can kind of like wear them very sheerly, which is really nice. You can also build them up. But sometimes I just like, you know, to be able to swipe on something like very opaque. Are these the most comfortable lipstick I've ever used? No, but they're extremely comfortable and I find them to also be really long wearing. They don't move outside of the lip lines, which is really important to me. So it's kind of like striking the balance of I want it to be really comfortable, but also not move and still be long wearing. So I'm not expecting this to wear, you know, eight hours a day, but I want it to be kind of like a compromise of being also long wearing but also hydrating. Another lipstick formula that I really love are the Byredo Liquid Lipstick Vinyls, which are like a liquid lip balm. They're really thick and they don't, you know, move outside the lip lines. They're not crazy long wearing, but you just have to reapply after you eat. And I also really like the Victoria Beckham lipstick formula, but those I find to be like much more thin. Yeah, just also really nourishing, but just a little bit thinner of a formula that has to be more built up. So the packaging I really like because it's, I wouldn't say crazy heavy, it's not like as heavy as a YSL packaging, but it's still quite substantial. And you have the name at the bottom, but they also have a little sticker on the inside, which is nice if you're just like popping it open. I really like that it has a magnetic closure. Yeah. So it just pops right back in. It has a little H with a bunny. So really nice, pretty packaging. Overall, I'm really, really impressed and happy with these. I think especially Wave, Flora, and Tropic are the three that are really unique in my collection. And Dahlia is, you know, like that beautiful neutral pink that I'm pretty sure a lot of us already may have in our collection, but is a classic that a lot of us would wear. And same with Oasis being that really light, neutral pink. I hope that this review was helpful for you and maybe helped you determine, you know, what shades you're interested in or you just wanted to sit down and watch some reviews, which I love to do myself. But if you like this video, it would mean so much to me if you'd hit subscribe and I would love to see you guys in the next video.